all right guys in this video series we will make a full multiplayer game you know like a top down style shooter um with rocket networking and it's going to be from scratch like i've just started like a new project here in game maker and this will be a fully playable multiplayer game and i'm hoping to finish this like in like one week honestly it's like it would probably take like two hours to make but you know i want to make it a series like a playlist so it'll be video by video so let's get started no rush nothing um firstly let's just you know make uh, sure that our room is a bit smaller actually this is fine um what matters is the viewport okay so yeah this it would be better if uh, the width is i don't know maybe a thousand by thousand let's see how that works out not under thousand okay and to keep it simple let me just set up black uh, background i think yeah that, that's it it's just, yeah now let's create an uh, a sprite for our shooter firstly um alt s I'll call this S player and you know center it and while editing the image just fill it up with white. Yep. That, that's it. And it would be cool if we could have like a proper gun sprite as well. You know, we would want that. So um let me just make like uh, you know what, would it make more sense to have a white BG and a, nah, that's, that won't work. Uh, your eyes would strain too much. So, let's create a player now. So, we'll call this O player. And I'll assign it my sprite. And um, let's start creating some variables now. In the step event, first let's have... Uh, WSD movement so um var horizontal move can be like keyboard keyboard check um um w minus s right now that's v move actually W minus S. Okay, and similarly, we'll have one for I think H move. So keyboard check, yeah, that's right. Now make one for H move. This will be. Uh, D minus A, right? I hope so because D makes it, yeah. D minus A. Okay, so now we have some moving variables. Also, I want to point my sprite, you know, in the direction of the mouse. So, um, I guess direction equal to point direction x y mouse x mouse y okay now um same for the image angle image angle also needs to be the direction apart from all this let's uh, go to the sprites and because this will move we need to set the collision mask to um, rectangle with rotation or something like that yes that's what i meant okay now what else do we need okay let me just put this in the room uh, how big does it come out to be um, select instances okay that is actually a lot bigger than i expected <laughs> okay so um let me make the room bigger <laughs> now how do you make the room bigger 
let me set it to 3000 by 3000 and let's set the um yeah let's start, set up our viewports now so enable viewports and you know the viewport needs to be like focused on this guy so let's make the camera i don't know 600 by 600 he would fill up like one tenth of the screen then that that's something to keep in mind yeah that, that that's too much so actually 1000 by 1000 might be good yeah and same for the viewport a thousand by a thousand and all the rescaling all of that i'll do later and in the object following let me just i mean i don't want to write my camera code again so yeah and in the horizontal vertical border this part let me just set it to 400 by 400 ideally i'd want it to be like smooth but for now let's just see how this you know works in fact uh, let me play no not gx please windows yeah how big is this video six minutes cool okay um the problem here is there is no way to make out where we are at all like this this is just this place makes no sense so you know it would be cool if i could somehow just yeah have like walls we will finally have walls right so in objects let me just uh, create an o wall s wall first of all for like the walls so s wall and these can only be 16 by 16 you know what i'm saying okay and i'll actually make them a bit yellowish but let's just go with this you know okay now in objects alt o let's say o wall and yeah now we can kind of like paint it over this place so uh let's see if i can somehow do just make some like lines you know like put a few here and there and uh yeah maybe have like a close space <laughs> okay uh, yeah some dots here and there yeah that should cover the whole map um now let's see how this works i hope you are just able to you know move when we oh wait i didn't even set the <laughs> so now you know after you put this you have to kind of move so what you want to do is set x plus equal to h move and y plus equal to v move okay now let's see how this works okay it is like painfully slow and uh, it's so okay i think the this needs to be reversed so v move needs to be reversed and it's too damn slow w what else can i say multiply it by three multiplied by three yeah now let's see how this works okay and yep it is kind of uh, how i'd like it to be there are no uh, and wow that's 60 fps it's so cool 